The M16 or M4 carbine flash suppressor is covered by a blank firing adapter in order to fire blanks. Here's the government issue GI blank firing adapter. And you can see I've got a flash suppressor connected to it just so you can see how it works. It works by the entire barrel being plugged by this, we'll call it a pillar that screws in and this pillar that screws in completely to co close off the barrel has some small holes in it so that some of the gas can leak out. See the holes? The hole on that end, and the actual end of the pillar and then there's a hole, a vent hole here middle part of the pillar. But the main problem is that when you use the blank firing suppress adapter on the firing suppressor, it obviously is covered. It's in a bright red or bright yellow color. It's good for safety, but if you're making a war movie or a demonstration, you're not fooling anybody. <laughs> you got this bright colored piece of chunk of metal on the end and you've got a ring. It doesn't look very realistic. To fix this problem, Sumter Precision has created the Stealth BFA, the Stealth Blank Firing Adapter. As you can see, it looks exactly like a flash suppressor, but it's actually a blank firing adapter because when you look down the middle, you can see a hole to allow the gases to escape. It has a hole in it so that you can vent your gases and still provide enough back pressure to operate the action. As a safety feature, if you should be crazy enough to fire a live round accidentally through this thing, the hole will just be opened and uh, the bullet will just pass. Compared to the issue blank firing adapter, the Stealth BFA is very realistic. You wouldn't be able to tell unless you got very close to it and looked down the barrel, down the actual Stealth BFA, and you'd see that it's included with a a very small hole in it. Now let's go see what it'll look like when you fire it, how realistic the fire looks at coming out of the Stealth BFA. Yeah. <laughs>